Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating a laser cut sign with an unconventional look by adhering denim fabric to the dimensional lettering, producing a truly unique looking sign. I have created a basic design mock-up simulation and will break the design into three separate files. One for the sign base, another for the frame, and a third for the lettering. To make this sign, I will need blue painter's tape, quarter inch thick MDF wood, denim fabric, spray adhesive, walnut wood, and double sided adhesive sheeting. To start the project, I will place the walnut wood sheeting into the laser system and focus it. Close the laser lid and import the back plate design file with the red cut lines and the blue mark lines into the Ruby software. Next, I will place the file into the prepare screen and position over the material using the red dot pointer or the vision design overhead camera. Then I will select the walnut wood material from the materials database and push the file to the laser. I will press start on the laser and mark the blue color and cut the red lines through the walnut wood with the laser system. Once finished, I will open the laser and remove the cut wood base wiping any residue from the surface and setting it aside. For the frame, I will need to add adhesive to another piece of walnut wood by placing the double-sided adhesive onto one side of the wood, squeegeeing it down and trimming off any excess adhesive. I will then place that sheet into the laser with the adhesive face down. Then close the laser lid and open the frame file into the Ruby software. Like the base, I will place the frame file over the wood, select the walnut materials parameter, and push that file to the laser. I will then hit start and engrave and cut the design into the sheet of walnut wood with the adhesive backing. Once finished, I will open the laser, wipe any excess residue with a damp cloth, and set the frame parts aside. For the lettering of this sign, I will take some denim fabric and a sheet of MDF wood with spray contact adhesive. I will spray the adhesive onto one side of the MDF wood, then onto the back side of the denim fabric and then let it dry for one to two minutes. After the two minutes, it's now ready to be adhered together. Next, I will add blue painter's tape to the adhered denim surface and squeegee the tape to the surface. The tape will protect the denim from the heat of the laser during the cutting process. Then I will flip the sheet over, trim any excess tape and fabric from the sheet. Now I will turn it over and apply some double-sided adhesive sheeting to the backside of the MDF wood, squeegeeing it down and trimming off any excess. The MDF wood now with adhered denim and painter's tape on the surface and double-sided adhesive on the backside is now ready to be laser cut. I will place that sheet into the laser with the blue painter's tape face up and the double-sided adhesive face down. Then close the laser lid and focus the laser. Open the signage lettering design file into the Ruby software. Place the design file over the sheet, select the MDF wood parameter and push that file to the laser. Then I will select start on the laser and cut out the lettering through the painter's tape, denim, MDF, and the double-sided adhesive all at once. Once complete, I will open up the laser and remove the dimensional cut lettering. For assembly, I will take the sign base and the frame and peel the double-sided adhesive from each part of the frame in this design and stick it to the base using the laser marked lines into the wood as a guide. Then it will take the laser cut dimensional lettering, remove the blue painter's tape from the surface of each letter, then peel the double sided tape from the back side of each letter and then adhere them to the walnut wood base using the laser mark line for the lettering alignment.
Once all the letters are in place, the sign is now complete. We now have a walnut-faced and framed dimensional sign with a unique denim-faced lettering, creating a sign that will truly stand out. This same process can be applied to a wide range of materials, including flexible fabrics and leathers. It opens up endless possibilities for creativity and customization, limited only to the imagination. This sign-making process is a simple yet effective way to create a unique and personalized sign using various materials. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or comments. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my latest laser projects, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.